Let's make these Let It Snow Bath Bombs go. You can learn how to use essential oils in your bath. Confused on how to use essential oils? You will love making these super fun bath bombs that fizz away and fill your heart with joy. With this recipe, you'll go from confused and overwhelmed on how to use essential oils to making bath bombs with confidence. Hi, I'm Katie Veldkamp, co-founder of Simply Earth. I'm a certified aromatherapist and I love teaching people how to use essential oils. Turn off your distractions, making is fun, let's get started. Here's what you need to make this recipe. I'm going to be using a recipe card. You'll need citric acid, a bath bomb mold like this, and we're using a mini one. Geranium essential oil, Bumps and Boo Boo's essential oil blend, and almond oil. From my kitchen, I'm grabbing a quarter cup of cornstarch and baking soda. I'll also be using some 99% rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle. For my first step, I'm going to mix my baking soda and a dash of blue mica powder, and I am pushing my baking soda through a sieve or sifter to get any clumps out. If you don't have one of these at home, that's okay. <laughs> You don't have to use it, it just makes it a little more clean and uh, you won't have little baking soda clumps in it. Now I'm gonna add a dash of mica powder to it to give it a little blue tint. I'm just gonna add a little bit to add a hint of blue. And I'm just gonna stir that in. Now I'm gonna set this aside and come back to it in a little bit. I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of almond oil. Almond oil is a carrier oil. It's gonna make these essential oils safe in a bath. For my oils, I'm adding two drops of geranium and two drops of bumps and boo-boos. So now I'm gonna add my oil mixture to my baking soda until there is it no clumps and it's an even consistency. And if needed, you can do some mixing with your hands to get it nice and even. The next step in these let it snow bath bombs is to add the rest of our dry ingredients. So I've got a quarter cup of cornstarch and this is going to help keep the bath bomb from fizzing away all at once. It slows down the fizz so that you can watch it and enjoy it. Next, I am going to add two tablespoons of citric acid, and this is what creates the fizzing reaction with the baking soda. Once I pour this into water, it's gonna fizz away. So now I'm gonna mix this all together. I'm gonna mix it the rest of the way with my hands. If you have very sensitive skin or have beautiful nail polish on, you'll wanna put gloves on if you wanna mix it with your hands. This is gonna help me get all of the ingredients mixed in really well. It's also gonna help me figure out if it's at the right consistency. For a bath bomb to hold its shape, it needs to feel like wet sand. It should clump and hold together in your hand. So this is actually pretty close as is. I am gonna add one, or, one to two sprays of rubbing alcohol. And this is 99% rubbing alcohol because lower grades of rubbing alcohol will cause your bath bomb to start to react and fizz, and we don't want that yet. We wanna save that for the bathtub. Now it is time to actually make our bath bombs and put them into the mold. And we've got this super cute mini bath bomb mold, and there's two tricks to this. The first thing to make sure that you have the right consistency. The next part is to overfill the molds. So I wanna overfill it and pack it down lightly so that it is full, but I'm not jamming it in there. If I push it in too hard when I pull these two halves of the mold apart, it can become two bath bomb halves. So I've got this one overfilled and packed down. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this half. It's overfilled and I'm lightly packing it down. And now I am going to push the two halves together like so. Ooh. Now I'm going to remove it from the mold. Doot. And it should look like this. If it crumbles immediately, add some more rubbing alcohol to your mixture. You can also use witch hazel or even add more almond oil if you'd like. So I'm gonna set this aside and let it totally harden 
for about 24 hours, but the hardening time will depend on where you live. All right, and I have enough mixture here to make about two more, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm lightly packing it into each half, and I'm going to push it together. Oh! Once your bath bombs are totally hardened, after they've sat out for at least 24 hours, they should feel pretty hard to the touch. When it's all dried out, it should be quite hard. So for my next step for the, these Let It Snow bath bombs, I'm going to decorate them. And this is a bath bomb that I made earlier and it's already hardened and I missed adding the blue mica powder so it's white, um, but that's okay because I'm just gonna teach you how to decorate these. In this little bowl, I'm going to add a dash of mica powder and I'm gonna spritz it with rubbing alcohol. Now I'm gonna stir it to help get rid of plumps. And now with my bath bomb, I am going to paint it. And I'm going to attempt to make a snowflake. <laughs> and now I have a little snowflake. I could add a little more detail to it. There's a little snowflake and I'm gonna decorate another one. And this one, I think I'm gonna make little wind swoops. All right, winter winds coming in. All right, and then last but not least with my third bath bomb. So for this, I have some mica powder and rubbing alcohol on my brush and I'm just tapping the brush against my finger to make kind of a splatter. There's three fun ways to decorate your bath bombs using the painting technique for bath bomb decorating. To use these, you'll fill your tub with warm water. It's a good idea to give your bathtub a little bit of cleaning because the mica powder likes to stick to shower scum and will leave a ring on the edge of your bathtub. So give your bathtub a wipe down before you use it. And as you drain the bathtub, it's a good idea to kind of rub your hands along the side to get any mica powder that might've collected to go down the drain. When you make these Let It Snow math bombs, take a picture and share it on social media with hashtag I made this and tag from Simply Earth so we can see your amazing creations. I got all these ingredients from the Simply Earth Essential Oil Recipe Box, the best way to learn how to use essential oils. With this box, you'll master how to make your own bath products in no time. You will love using essential oils with confidence and clarity. 